two days ago. Away they go, the world record 328.81 by Ronald Quemoy. That was in Monaco two years ago. Quemoy indeed winning in Monaco just a few days ago. The uh, Diamond League race there, that's a tightly bunched pack and a lot of pushing and shoving. That's really physical. It's so slow and the Spaniard Torrent has gone to the front but hasn't really accelerated. He's running right on the outside of lane one. They want somebody else to come through. The Briton, Josh Kerr, on the inside, refusing to accept the invitation. Sneeber down the outside there, the Moroccan staying well back, and this is a typical championship race, Martin, really awkward, so much jostling for position and contact there. Middle distance running in this sort of uh, situation is very much the contact sport, about 49 and a half seconds at 300. Yes, I mentioned it, but wouldn't it be a story if young Jakob Inge Britson actually won this title when you consider how the younger or the middle brother upstaged the more experienced elder brother in Amsterdam when Philip beat Henrik in that 1500 meters. It would be quite a thing if the 15 year old, apparently unknown youngest brother of the lot of them, actually upstaged the other two here by springing what would be a major surprise. It's quite a story. We've got a 15 year old in, uh, in a world championship final, let alone when it comes from such a family. Well, this is remarkably slow, 66.7 at 400. The pushing and shoving continues. Everybody jostling for position. The Australian, their tall figure of Matt Ramsden, getting very much involved in proceedings in the pushing and shoving, but he's in second place at the moment. Josh Kerr of Great Britain on the inside, behind Tolosa. Guadi, the other Ethiopian, moves up onto the shoulder. Now they begin to get impatient, and the pace picks up as they come towards two laps to run. It's Guadi from Ramsden, Taki, the world youth champion, goes through there. 156 on the clock at uh, 800 to go, two laps to go. I've seldom ever seen so much movement and jostling over the first couple of laps of 1,500 metres. If you're going to expend that much energy, you might as well get out and start running more strongly. 800 metres there, 2.12.99, another 66-second lap. Well, maybe we're going to get the move now from the Frenchman coming down the outside, but everybody's almost just trying to get off the curb, aren't they? Stepping one step to the right to avoid getting caught behind bodies and getting caught behind somebody. But the pace is now being uh, timed up just a little bit, and at some point here, somebody's really going to kick for the front. Well, Ramsden's been very involved in all the uh, jiggery-pokery over the last couple of laps. He's at the front now and beginning to wind it up. Interestingly, Josh Kerr at the moment has to be tired after a long American college season, third from the back and losing ground. He's got most of the field in front of him as they come towards the bell. It's Ramsden, Ramsden, from uh, the Frenchman there, Michelet, who now hits the front. 597 there. That's Ataki in second place. He gets clipped by Ramsden. The Nitsen in fourth place. Then 3-2-3, three, three, one of the Ethiopians, Gwadi, in fifth place. Down the back straight now. Mishla is not holding back here. 55.6, that third lap. And look at Inga Britson, the youngster, just 15, still in it. He's getting past now. But now the East Africans moving into position. It's Taki who leads, the world youth champion with his teammate Kiptu looking smooth on his shoulder. Michel's run a good race there, the Frenchman in third place. Tolosa of Ethiopia in fourth, Inga Britson in fifth. Might not have the legs just yet, but he's only 15 years old. His time will come as Taki and Kiptu cut loose. Here comes Tolosa, head back, flailing arms. Is he going to get there? It's going to be mighty tight at the line. Oh, he crosses the line horizontally does Ataki, but he takes the gold and he needed that dive even if not the fall but he needed it because Tolosa was coming through like a train had swallowed up Kiptu who uh, took the bronze medal but Tolosa finishing inches short of the gold in a desperate lunge for the line there Kumari Taki adds world under 20 gold to world youth gold 53-41 I got the final lap and I think he's in one piece, let's hope so. I hope that tooth was missing before the dive. <laughs> <laughs> but what a brilliant, brilliant run. What an eventful race. He's too tired to celebrate as yet. I think, Martin, maybe he doesn't know he can celebrate, but I'm 99% sure he got there. Yes, he has. Well, the legs are working now, but they were certainly going from underneath him with about five strides to go. And it was that situation where Every part of his body was going quicker than his legs and eventually